Hey everyone. So last week we had a great time. Um, Misha Pollack, who won the competition to be the first non-Jetpack aviation company uh, pilot of our JB10, Jetpack 10. Um, he came out to our secret test facility and, uh, and he did his first, first training flight. So we went out there, we had about 20, 20 uh, members from the press come and watch. And um, I think it was pretty cool. I think they, they enjoyed it. So first I did a flight just to give everybody a feeling of what it would be like if you, you know, what does it look like if you've got say 400 flights or 500 flights uh, in a jet pack, which I've done over obviously many years. And then uh, Boris, Boris Jar Jerry, our ops manager, he did a flight and he's up to about 50 odd flights now. So that gave them a comparison. And um, also Steph, Stefano Paris, who's our chief engineer, he did a flight. Uh, he's got about 50 flights as well, just to give them a comparison. And then it was Misha's turn uh, to get dressed up in the flight suit, put the helmet on and strap back into the, uh, the jetpack. So what the press saw last week with, with Misha was effectively, you know, in two flights, what he achieved was pretty extraordinary. I mean, okay, he wasn't flying at the top of the tether, but he had the basic semblance of control, you know, and it's, that's pretty amazing. It took you several hundred flights to become a proficient jetpack pilot. Uh, based on your test flights, we refined the jetpack, we refined uh, the safety operating procedures and everything so that uh, Boris and I were able, well, should be able to go free flight in about 50 flights. Yep. And Misha showed us that maybe it's possible to do it even sooner. Right. I think what we've demonstrated now is that the, the fundamentals of our VTOL approach, vertical takeoff and landing approach, are solid. Uh, it was probably three years ago when we got up to version JB9 that I flew around the Statue of uh, Liberty. But it's taken a lot longer to sort of compile, you know, my learnings and then now that's your learnings and then so when we did this together with me with misha i mean you could tell that if we kept going with him he'd uh, he'd nail it really really quickly yeah. so i think uh, you know we've got the the fundamentals of vtol flight are there and we've developed that so we've got a lot of great things happening at the moment we've got the jb11 coming uh off for flight testing in about five weeks we've got jb12 in about uh, two to three months we'll be ready for flight testing that's the fully electric version of the jetpack that'll be the first time we've done that uh, but most importantly is the work that we're doing on the emergency systems and we're actually funding that with the crowdfunding campaign that we're running on Start Engine. Love, uh, love you guys to get involved in your, if you're interested in becoming a shareholder in the, in the world's only true jetpack company. Uh, go to jetpackaviation.com, click on more information, you'll see all of the information there that'll take you through to the campaign. And it ends at the end of March, so please, if you are interested in getting involved, do that now. Uh, go and take a look. Be really, really excited to get you guys involved and we'll see you guys soon.